Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to teach you about trading the unseen. Guys, if you have been losing in the market or you're not profitable, most probably you are trading everything that is printed on your chart and you are, you are analyzing what you're seeing. It's high time you stop analyzing what you're seeing and tell the Holy Spirit to at least open your eyes. I'll tell you the story of Haggai and Ishmael. Is it Ishmael? Yeah. When they were in the desert, Haggai put the sun away because she didn't want to see her son uh, dying out of lust and out of hunger. And both of them were crying. And then God heard the cry of Ishmael. And what happened? God opened the eyes of Haggai. My question is, all that time, it's not like her guy was blind. She was looking, but she was not seeing. And this is one of the prayers that you have to tell God to open your inner eyes. Sometimes the eyes that we use may not see exactly what we want to see. So when you trade the unseen, is God opening the eyes of your heart? There's a place where in the Bible, uh, it is written that may you open the eyes of my heart. May I be able to see May I, be, may I be able to open the market, the chart. May I be, be able to see beyond my physical eyes. And I hope that is your prayer from now henceforth. And that's why when you trade and what everyone else is, can see, you keep making mistakes. Anyway, uh, before we get into the trading the unseen, I want to make uh, an announcement. I don't trade for people. I don't do investments on Bitcoin. I don't do all those things. People have been impersonating me. And there are so many fake accounts with Esther Moore Free, my profile and all that. This is my official number, guys. 7254. 254 is Kenyan. And then my number is 7003440066. So if you want any of my services, and I only have one service, training. If you want my course that is recorded, that has 12 modules, 10 profitable strategies, just WhatsApp me and you'll get that course. The course is $1,000. So don't be fooled by someone asking you for money to trade, to be traded, or to buy Bitcoins, or they, they tell you my mentorship is $100 or, $50, or $1,500 or $500. My mentorship is $1,000. And I'll keep doing this disclaimer because even yesterday, I got some people who, are, who are scammed some dollars by impersonators. You need to understand that I value my work and I charge and I also have free mentorship here on YouTube. That's why I'm creating this video. So if you can't afford $1,000, keep watching because I'll be posting at least three videos every single day. So you can imagine you have entered a school for free. For those who will feel they want more advanced knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you can come and uh, and buy my course. By the way, a thousand dollars is because of the ten profitable strategy. Each strategy is a hundred dollars, and there's the way it is in order. So if you can buy in order, you can buy a hundred dollars. So the first strategy is OPT BW. If you want to buy one strategy at a hundred dollars, you have to buy in order because I have arranged them in order for your understanding. There's no way you can start Z, then W. You have to start alphabetical order A, B, C, D. That's how even my strategies are planned. So if you want, if you have $100, you can purchase the OPT strategy. If you have $200, you can purchase OPT strategy and BW strategies like that. So trading the unseen, this is zero CHL. And I told you guys, when you want to trade the unseen, you have to, to trade at least two time frames. And I think I'll do a very detailed video about time frames and what God really uh, revealed to me. You see, the reason why I appreciate what God has been working upon my life is because the Holy Spirit is my teacher and my mentor. And sometimes it is not easy when you're in the process of being trained by a being that is high and um, you have to align. In fact, in the kind of mentorship and training that I undergo every single day, I have to really align with the spirit of God 
because if I fail to align, I will miss some things. And for me, why I, I feel I I feel the reason why the Holy Spirit is my trainer and my teacher is because I am called to train multitude and thousands, if not millions of traders out there. So I don't need to depend on someone because they can be nearer. So I depend on the Holy Spirit so that when I come here and I tell you something, you apply it, you practice it, you will see and notice a difference. So when it comes to trading the unseen, the first thing you will need is at least two time frames. So number one, these are the pointers that you can take home. You will need two time frames. There is no way you can trade the unseen only using one time frame. So you will need two time frame. From for instance, we will use four hour and daily time frame. Four hour and the daily time frame. So you can choose either to use daily and the weekly, or you can choose one hour and two hours, or you can choose 30 minutes and one hour, or you can choose five minutes and 15 minutes. All I am saying is that when you want to trade the unseen in the market, you have to compare two time frames for you to see the unseen. When you use or depend on only one time frame, you will never see the unseen. You will see everything that you are supposed to see and what is hidden from your eyes, you will never see. So the rule of trading the two time frames, guys, and you have to listen carefully because uh, I have come to realize that majority of people will be quick to, to, to act. They want to, to, to learn this video and then they start uh, practicing, but they don't understand that these videos, by the time I am creating them, I want you to repeat watch multiple times before you even go and practice. What happens with the two time frames you will choose? Uh, you will always start with the small one. The small one is the one that you will start analyzing. Then the higher time frame that you have chosen is where you're looking the unseen. So for instance, if I choose five minutes and uh, for instance, if I choose, let's say here is the difference. So if I choose um, 30 minutes and one hour, so this is 30 minutes time frame, and then I choose one hour. I just want to give you an example. So if I choose, these are two time frames that I will be trading and I will using, and you are doing it uh, at the same time. So if I choose 30 minutes and one hour, for you, your analysis will be solely on will be solely on 30 minutes, okay? Your analysis will be solely on 30 minutes. That's where you will open the chart. The one hour is the one that you're using. This one hour, you are using it for, you're using it for confirmation of the unseen. So we only use the one hour to confirm. And um, we are using this one hour just to confirm that surely the market is, the, 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 the unseen, the unseen concept is there. So don't get confused because we have two time frames. You analyze 30 minutes, then you go analyze one hour. No, you will do your analysis on 30 minutes, purely on 30 minutes. When it comes now to get that concept of the unseen, by the way, I want to see is what I'm seeing visible on one hour. That's when you flip one hour. And if you can't find it on one hour, now you're in the trap. You are good to go. So in this case, we won't use 30 minutes and one hour. In this case, we are using, uh, uh, we are using, so the, what, what I mean is this, before even I go to, uh, before I go to, to the four hour and the daily. So if I use the concept of 30 minutes and one hour, this is what I mean. The first candle of 30 minutes Let's say the market can start at 12. So 12 p.m. is when I'm observing the market. So 12 p.m., remember 12 p.m. is the same uh, time where the one hour candle will start printing. So at 12, if I'm on 30 minutes, I will see a candle for me. If I'm on one hour, I will see a candle for me. So the difference is 
from 12 to 1, from 12 to 1, guys. And I hope you, trading the unseen is not a joke. You have to put in work. From 12 to 1 p.m., how many candles will I have in 30 minutes? That's the question. How many candles will I have in 30 minutes? Do you know I will have how many candles? Two. But from 12 to 1 on one hour time frame, I will have only one. So that is what happens. So on 30 minutes, I can have a very bullish candle, a green candle. Can you see? I can have a green candle and then I can have a red candle. Can you see? I can have a red candle. What this tells me is that on, can you see that? I hope it is clear. So I can have, um, I can have a, so this is 12 to 12.30. By 12 p.m. to 12.30, that is my printing of the candle. This is where I'm going. Patience. You have to listen. Um, so 12 to 12.30, I have a, a bullish candle. Then 12.30 to 1. So this is 12 to 12.30. Twelve to twelve thirty, I have a bullish candle, and twelve thirty to one. I have a red candle. That is, that is, um, basically, the thirty minutes time frame. The question is, when I come to one hour, will I have a red candle or? Will I have a green candle? Because in one hour, I only have one. Can you guess? Which candle will I have? A red or a green? Have you guessed in your heart? <laughs> Can you comment and guess? Will we have a red candle or a green candle? Because if you don't know how to trade this way, maybe that's why you're missing a lot of things. Because you have to know that what I'm seeing, the interpretation of this market on 30 minutes, when I go to one hour, is not interpreted the same way. Because in one day candle, because it's only one, when I go to four hour, that candle is split in six times. So one day candle, <laughs> let me write here. So if I have, uh, if I have one day candle, if I have, one, one day candle. Do you know how many candles will I have in four hours? I will have six candles. Six candles. So you, you think, do you think if I have a bullish or a red, a bearish daily red candle, do you think it is a must on four hours we have red, red, one, do you think it is a must? No, sometimes it's not a must. Sometimes you can have throughout bullish candles on four and then last minute. So majority of people think that the market, if it prints on daily red candle, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so those are ranging small candles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Majority of people think because this is a four hour, the market looks like that. Not at all times, not at all times, guys. So this is daily. So this is what majority think happens because daily is red for our, all the six candles were red. That's wrong because it's not a mass. They can be a shift. So unless you know how to interpret different time frames, that's when you start making sense in your trading. So the question is, we have, green red automatically the candle is green but it has a week so we have a green candle but the candle has a week and i think this one i i, I will try to do candle formation for you guys 
but that one I do it in my with my students, so it's like I will be sharing too much TMI, but we can try to do that uh, exercise. That's how the candle on one now will be looking like. So when I talk of trading the unseen, when I talk of trading the unseen, basically what I mean on 30 minutes, I have a resistance printed very visible because resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. Are we together? But when I flip to check, is the resistance the same place? I open my one hour and guess what? I do not have a resistance, guys. And when this one, I have a resistance, you can see resistance visible, resistance Resistance visible, hey, and this one, resistance not visible. Hey, what has happened? Resistance is visible, but when we flip to the other side, the resistance is nowhere. No, not even visible, no resistance. And you want to tell me, guys, when I tell you that this is what actually I help you. I help you to see the unseen. That is all about my mentorship. My mentorship is not to come and sit down and I start telling you what I have learned from other YouTubers. No. I will tell you exactly, and I don't leave anything. If the Holy Spirit tells me one, two, three, that's exactly how I teach you. Because sometimes, I even look at myself when I train and I ask God, oh my God, you're so faithful. Because if it was not this wisdom, like if it was not for you to give me such wisdom, where would I get such wisdom? Where would I, would I even get such knowledge? Who will even be willing to teach me this for free? And that being, I think when I start asking that in prayer, God helps me to understand he doesn't teach me this to keep it for myself, guys. He only teaches me this because he knows I will teach you, guys. And there are two categories that I teach. I teach free students and I teach paid students. So don't feel bad when I charge $1,000 because either way, there is a journey that I go. By the time I'm listening to the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that God chastens those who he loves. You think it is always roses hmm? when I'm being taught. There is pain applied. For me to really understand and comprehend exactly what the Holy Spirit wants me to understand, there is pain involved. So don't feel bad. Don't think it comes freely. Because God calls many, but many answer, few answer. Few, only few answer, and only few can withstand this kind of a training. So this is exactly what, what I'm trying to tell you, that on 30 minutes, there's a resistance. On one hour, there's no resistance. And I feel like this is our life. And this is where her guy was. Her guy was in one hour. They, he, she, she could not see the water. But the water was, was there but she could not see it. And that's why sometimes if you, you can say there's no opportunity where the opportunity is there right in your eyes, but just God opened the eyes of that minute. I'm just giving you an example for you to understand. You can imagine you are crying to God that you don't have water, but what is the problem is the eyes of your heart. They were the eyes, she was looking at the well, but she could not see because God did not create the well. The Bible says that God opened her eyes and she saw the well. So the well was there all long time ago. Anyway, so this is the concept of the unseen and I hope I've made it clear. So we need to use two time frames. So when we are using daily and four hour, the same concept applies. 
So let me go directly to the point because it's, I feel like I'm training my student, my paid student, and I don't want to give too much information. So when we come to the chat, guys, when it comes to the chat, remember the topic is trading the unseen. We need two time frames, four hour and daily. For instance, in this video, we will be using four hour and daily. And then the only thing that I want to differentiate is that difference. So the, the, the strategy that I use, there are so many strategies that I use in the paid mentorship, but here, because we are doing this one for free, I will use the patterns, the double tops, the double bottoms, the cup and handles, the head and shoulder patterns, the flags, all those patterns, they are free. I can teach you for free. So what we'll do is that sometimes you may see uh you may see, you may open your chart and you're not sure. Hey, the highest of this market is here. That is our highest, where our I can see. I hope you can see that. That is the highest. The lowest of this market is here. How comes the market is at the center? Have you noticed that market is at the center? So, if it keeps going up, we call this a reversal. If it reaches there and goes down, we call it a deep retracement because, hey, that was a deep one. So at this point, imagine you don't have a strategy. How will you tell if the market will continue to go up and do a reversal or it will get rejected and go down and achieve a deep retracement. And these are the questions that if you don't ask yourself, the market makers are happy because when they are doing liquidity, liquidity, you are the liquid yourself. Because if you fail to ask yourself, what is the approach of the market? What will the, what does the market want? Does it want to do a reversal? Or is it just a retracement? Because anytime the market was on a downtrend, you can see this was a very stiff downtrend. So anytime the market is on a downtrend, people shy away from buying. Because anytime the market is buying slowly, everyone thinks ah, it's coming here. This is the end. This is a retracement. In fact, it is coming to test. It is coming to test this zone. You see, when the market, when the market breaks a support, the market tends to come back. So when the market starts to come up, majority of people ignore. And then the market breaks and you're wondering, ah, it's coming to test this second support. You do like that, you keep doing like that and the market keeps breaking. To a point where now the market has come to test this support. Can you see this support? You are now convinced if it breaks now here, this market is a reversal. So by the time the market is reaching here, majority of people will be like, ah, let me just look for buy. Because anyway, this is an uptrend. So I'm trying to tell you the three things I have kept telling you. If you have been listening to me, you have to realize if you don't know how to enter the market, if you don't know how to enter the market, number one, you'll be a frustrated trader. Number two, you will always lose. Number three, you will eventually say Forex is a scam and give up. And that is with the entry. Once you master the entry, guys, if you master the entry, you are left with two things, target and exit. So even if you lose money, you are not worried because you know the mistake, the trade was good, but it is your target that was wrong. When I speak of target is when you had, let's say you had a $50 in profit. You wanted $100. The market went at most $55. It retraced, took the $55, entered negative, went to 55 negative, and you panicked, you closed the trade. At that point, the kind of disappointment you have 
is lack of knowledge of targeting, not lack of knowledge of entry. So there are three categories of traders. Number one, they are traders who they don't know what to do with the market. In fact, when the market buys, they don't know where the market is buying. When the market starts to sell, they don't know. They are like in a cocoon, in a box, where they will accept anything. So if they wake up and buy, and the market buys, they make money. In fact, that is pure luck. They know even in their hearts. How have I gotten $50? Because they cannot, this kind of people, they cannot repeat or redo what they did yesterday. So you will see someone will even post to me and tell me, mentor today I've made $200. And my first question will be, what was your entry? Give me your entry so that I can learn your strategy. And when they send me the entry, I can just put it from afar that this was the wrong entry and the $200 profit was pure luck, pure miracle. If tomorrow they attempt what they did, not only will they lose, but they will lose even the 200 they made. And that is the worst case scenario when you don't understand entry. And majority of people who don't know entry are beginners. You see these people who are beginners, beginners is someone who has not been trading for long, uh, has never been trading, and now they have approached the market. Beginners, 90% of people who struggle with entry are beginners. The 10% of people who struggle with entry are the ignorant. You have been trading for two, three years, but you cannot give uh you cannot give like a direct answer how you enter the market. When do you buy? When do you sell? A simple question like that. Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking like that, but this trade is making me talk like that. Because if at all you have to know if it is a reversal or a retracement, you have to use another thing. So what I keep telling people is the market the, the market that does not just stop because it wants to stop. There's a reason what makes the market stop. So I will just uh, delete everything and we view this we, we view this in a different uh, angle. So the market didn't just stop here because it wanted to stop. And the market didn't stop here because it wanted to stop. There are things that makes the market stop buying and stop selling. And that one is another video. We won't discuss it today. So the question is, this market was moving up well. At this point, even me, I don't know. When you're analyzing, you go step by step. At this point, I don't know if this is a reversal or a retracement, but what I know and what I'm getting from the chart is that the market has stopped at this area at the moment. Because this market, we have not found it here. We have not found it here. The market stopped at this area. And I can highlight that. Now, my biggest question is, why there? What is making this market stop at this area? You see, when you ask yourself such question, you might get an answer. Why did this market reject? You can see there's a week. Anytime we have a presence of a week, it means it is getting rejected. Why did the market just stop there? And not only stop, it ranged, the market ranged. And it attempted to come down. But you can see this green, this green candle is just a funny candle because it's supposed to be a red candle. It means the market opened with a gap. From this area, the market started from here. So the market opened with a gap. That's why you're seeing a red and then a green below. When you see something like this is when market opens with a gap. So the question that I can ask you is, once now you ask yourself, why is this market stopping here? The only way to answer yourself is to look at the left of your chart. That's the only way. So if I look on my left of my chart, I can see when this market was going down, imagine Forex is easy, it's just people make it complicated. When this market, and you can see this is a very huge downtrend. When this market was going down, guys, at this point, the market stopped. Where the red line, the market stopped. For some reason, the market stopped. When I start, so I have this first stop, I have the second stop, and I have that stop. If I continue, you can see, you can see that area, <laughs> there's a way price tend to act when it reaches to that area. So it keeps stopping. 
Hmm. So that becomes a very interesting zone. Because even if I go like this, see? So I would continue going, but for some reason, the market stopped at that red line. And the reason is we, we have seen a sharp movement and then the market just stops from that zone. So when the market stops in that zone, the only thing that comes in my mind is what if it is creating a double top? But the problem is the double top, the possible double top is above. It's not here. It's a bit above. So if I come and make my double top, see, this is my double top. I'm thinking, um, still, I don't have an answer why it is stopped there. And if I start, I will start looking for sale. I can see my double top clearly. And this, guys, is the one that I'm calling possible double top. I can see it clearly, but the market, can you see where it has stopped? It has stopped. It has not even activated. It. So sometimes when you find such a thing, this is where you apply uh, something called patience. Patience, guys. So I want to start analyzing the market and having an entry that <clears throat> I have, I, I want to have an entry that will help me to be confident, guys, that is number one. My number one goal is to have an entry that is um, confident and I can apply it two, three, four times a day or I can apply it every day. The number one thing that I tell you guys is to trade patterns. Patterns you can apply. You can, you can trade double top today, double top tomorrow and you can still make the same result. So I have a double top there. And for me to trade this double top, the market has to activate. So you can see I need patience. Majority of people don't want patience. They want, if they see this market, they buy because they don't want to be doing nothing. This is just a prediction. When you predict the market, we do not predict to enter. We predict to wait for our prediction to happen so that we can react. And that's why I keep telling people, react don't predict because majority will say now this market has to come here so what i will do i will just place a buy trade those 47 pips i'll be getting money if you have said it will come here why are we not buying so you have said prediction is not the one that gives you entry prediction you predict so that whatever you predicted if it happens you react Okay, so if I predict the market will buy and touch the zone of the double top, I have to wait because those predictions are just predictions. I just have to wait. Once I wait and now the market touches that zone, if the market touches that zone, now I can react. So it's predicting, waiting, reacting. We don't predict and act. No, predict, wait, you react. You take an action. So in this case, uh, we have we have a, a possible double top. So for me, what I would do, because I, you, you know I am working with my mind and my mind can lie to me. So I will come and say possible. The reason why I'm saying possible double top, it's because it can change possible double top. It can change, guys. This possible double top can change. The market can change. Do you know how it can change? What if this possible double top, the market starts to sell without touching here? So it is just possible. When you call something double top, it means it's a double top. The market has activated. Anyway, that's the reason why the name possible. So before I even waste my time waiting for the activation, I just need to analyze be on four hour. This is four hour time frame. Let me write here. Before I go further, that's four hour time frame. I need to analyze if is my double top OPT. If you don't know about OPT, you have to go back to my videos. Remember in this video, I said on four hour candles, how they are aligned like here. So I will start with 12 midnight. So this is the green candle is 12 midnight. You can see Look carefully. The green candle is 12 midnight. So we have this one. The green, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these three candles, as uh, these six candles, 
You see this one? The, this is the first one. 12 midnight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you think these ones will form what candle on daily? This is the data on four hour. That's how it is represented. But if you go on daily, it's only one candle. So let's see if we have uh, that resistance, this resistance on the daily. So if I flip on the daily, guys, this is what I see. Can you see any resistance? There's nothing. This is what trading the unseen. Trading the unseen. Aish. If you don't get this lesson, I don't know. <laughs> you just need prayers. Because at this point, I don't see the resistance on the daily. But on four hour, I am seeing it. So I'm at advantage. When I trade the unseen, I know if daily, the lack of that resistance not being on the daily, it is an advantage of me to trade it on four hour. The only job I have is to wait for that activation. And you will wait. Don't think you will start trading, uh, waiting for only four hours and it hits. So that is four hours time. So you, you wait for the activation. That's what we are doing. We are waiting for the activation. And at this point, you can see the market has started to go down. So if you are looking for sell opportunity on lower time frame, let me tell you, majority of you have already entered. So those who enter with five minutes, 15 minutes, this is a massive. So already the market has gone down with 27 pips. Majority I have hopped on the sale. So the only way I will enter is if there is an activation, then I use the double talk strategy to enter. So I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. And in this case, what I do, I will put an alert and I will show you in the next video how to put an alert um, in the, I will show you how to put an alert in the on the chat where you are anticipating for activation so i will wait i'm still waiting still waiting you can see imagine now you are trading this confusion majority of you trade this this is a confusion this is a trap we call it a black box trap bbt black box trap that's a new new concept i'm working on um to a point, you can see almost activating, refusing to activate, and finally, we have an activation. So from where the market was, it has taken almost two to three days or four days or, three, or a whole week for activation to happen. Once now activation has happened, this one can be, uh, what do we call it? Can be violated if we get a green candle going up. If I get a green candle going up, it is violated and we are no longer have double top. Now we will think of something else. So in this case, now I have a strategy to work on because double tops on four hour, which strategy do you use? I have taught you this double top on four hour. We use which strategy? We use CSB strategy and i will not go de into detail because we were we were not doing this i was trying to show you how to trade the unseen i don't want to mix the two so we use the csb strategy the csb strategy c stands for current s stands for support and b stands for break that is the strategy we use for the double top on four hour. Okay. So before even because it has activated, let's mark our target because entry we will use CSB strategy. Now we need to target. So the first target is the half of this double top. And you see how far it is. So this half is where we are targeting. And I like taking making my colors uh green. So this is the half. So that is, if I get an entry, my first target is there. You see, that is the second thing that I was telling you. You have to be assured where you are doing the target, okay? So that is our target. And then if the market breaks here, our second target should be the neckline. So we have two targets. So you can't go to the neckline without first hitting the half. So our target is okay. And I have an exit in mind. 
I have the three things. I have an entry, CSB. I have the target half. And I have the exit if the market violates. Let's say the market had reached here and then it comes and breaks out the double top. You just close that trade. It is a losing trade. Just swallow that. Work on the, the emotions and come back as a better person. So because we have an activation, here we will do it quickly. Uh, current support break, CSB. This is my current support break. I won't go into detail. I'm waiting for the market to break there so that I enter sale. So I will wait for that line to be broken. You can see how um, the market is refusing to break. Until, you can even squeeze, until we had that breaking. Imagine that is your entry. It seems like, oh no, how can that be your entry? You mean this is your entry for selling? And you see, it is the strategy, it's not me who is saying, I have the entry and the entry is at two half. That is 111 pips. Once I enter, if the market violates with a green candle on top, I will close the trade because in this market, I have both entry, that is CSB, current support break. I have target, we are targeting up to half and I have the exit in mind. So I don't, it's, I, I am, I'm, I'm going into this war with fully armor. I am prepared for anything. So we enter, we are targeting 110 pips. So we enter. If you want to put stop loss, you can. For me, I don't use stop loss because I already have an exit. When you use stop loss, use ATR to help you to be able to, because I can tell you, oh, put stop loss here. Maybe this uh, trade happens during news, they spike up, you lose your money and then the market goes down. So if you want to use stop loss, I think I'm not the best person to train you on stop loss. So at the end of the day, we have our exit, we have our, we have our, Entry CSB, we have our target half and we have our exit if the market breaks above. And then you sleep or you go to jog or you go and read your Bible or you go and cook. Leave the market alone. Don't keep babysitting the market. You have put your take profit. You will only come back after four hours to monitor. So don't come after every one minute. After every one minute, you're opening your chart. After No, relax. There's a student who keeps saying that. He's called Tandy. He keeps telling us, relax. And I'll tell you the same, relax. When you're in this trade, you should relax. You should relax and, um, and now wait for the market to give you money. Anyway, let's see how the market behaves. For me, when I see such setups, I'm just thinking to myself, <laughs> why don't we get such good setups? Um, and hold the market to the end. Because you can see the entry was perfect. The target was perfect. It won't be always like this, guys. It won't be always like this. But at least with a good strategy, if it does not work, you will always learn something. If you are targeting to the next take profit, half has to be broken. If half is broken, we are moving to the next. Let's see. The market, did it move to the next? Uh, neckline the market move so that was the double top that was opt and that's how you trade the ANSI. so if this person was on the daily they are asking themselves why did this market go down we had broken uh resistance i was buying we had broken this major resistance the market we were targeting here there was something that was hidden here on four hour that you could not see. And that's how we treat the answer. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you will apply everything I have said. I hope it will be helpful. And at the end of the day, my mission is only one thing, to make you profitable and to help you never quit Forex because you will quit today. And five years from now, we will still be far, far with this Forex. So don't quit today because it's hard. Don't quit today because you're not making money. Don't give up because you have lost that money or you cannot understand. Push on, push. Because some few, few years to come, you will thank yourself for not giving up. Anyway, all the best guys for watching. 
remember if you're interested in my mentorship it's only a thousand dollars and in my mentorship program i stopped teaching double tops even if they make a lot of money there are other strategies that i teach and yeah that's why i charge a thousand dollars anyway thank you so much guys and bye bye love you